Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday. You guys are gonna come along with me this morning and help Bay get out of bed. She hasn't been feeling well, and I wanted to share how I kind of take care of her to help her while she's going with her injury. Okay, so I'm gonna go wake up Bay right now. Bay, good morning. It's time to get up. Good morning, sweetheart. It's time to get up. Did you sleep well? Mm -hmm. You did? It's time to get up and start the day and get you some breakfast, okay? <laughs> early. I know, it is early. It's about, what time is it? It's 8 o'clock here. Yep. Okay, I already have everything ready for you, okay? Love you. Love you too. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you the hotel edition of how I packaged everything that I need to take care of my wife as she's healing through her injury. Uh, the very first thing is um, pain medicine. So she has been in pain every single day, can barely walk, and um, I give her this ibuprofen um, about two every 24 hours and normally it's for bedtime so during the day she kind of has to deal with it because we don't want her taking too much pain medicine um, the second thing these are the tapes that I use to bandage her uh, wound up this one is for sensitivity uh, it works very well so when I do peel off the bandage that I wrapped it doesn't stick to her skin this one is really good as well as it's waterproof. As you guys know, we're dealing with hurricane season and it's a lot of rain. And um, in order for her wound care that I had wrapped for her, for in order for that not to lift up, we use the waterproof tape as well. Um, we also have a bunch of bandages in here that are kind of, uh, she doesn't really like it too much because it sticks onto her skin. This fabric bandage, it's, very nice or whatever but again it's 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 not comfortable for her so we don't like to use it but it's there if we need it this one is just a roll um so if i'm bandaging her up i'll use this to uh roll it up with again she does not like this either so we tend to just use the tape um so it doesn't stick to her skin we have given her uh, melatonin at night as well because she can't sleep at night because of the pain. So to give her some sort of comfort, uh, we go ahead and use the sleep aid and it does work really well. It knocks her out pretty good. Um, we have been using uh, this Benadryl as well. This is before the melatonin. We were using that because she was very itchy around her wound. So we were giving her some of this uh, allergy relief and it also helped her go to sleep but again we're not giving her that anymore either um, we're really uh, not even giving her that as well she's kind of just having to deal with the pain right now because she's been taking way too much um, pain medicine and then we have some bandages here so we initially brought this cushion care and it was working until we found out that it was ripping her uh, scabs off which caused her even more pain. So when we went to the hospital, they ended up giving us this here. And they said that they could, you can only get this at the hospital. So um, it's called Tefla. And it's a type of cushion that does not uh, stick to the wound. So this has been really good. And we only have one left, so we're kind of using it wisely. But you can cut it. It's very very um good i i do recommend this if you guys ever have a wound and you don't want the bandage to stick this non-adhesive um dressing right here this is definitely um a plus for anyone dealing with any type of wound care and just to show you guys what the cushion look like it comes in this package right here it's just a gauze pad again this sticks so this is a no-go for anyone that's dealing with uh active wounds especially if they're wet or losing we try not to use this but again we use it at night if need be because it helps her with comfort it's all about giving her comfort and relieving that pain and then the hospital also gave us this the sticky stuff that she does not like either again it sticks to her and it's not comfortable and again we're, we're running to make sure that she doesn't have as much pain so went ahead and put this in a cute little basket and tie it all up it's nice and sterile 
and um, this is uh, everything that I use to take care of her, and it's been working well so far. I just put on my shoes. Y'all, my, my, my worst times is the mornings and at night, and, I, and she has to physically help me put on my undergarments for my, un my boxers, my pants, my shorts, and I, I can't even wear pants that if I do, it has to be all the way up, and it's still pulled. That's why I wear lots of shorts, guys, because of how much pain I'm in. So she's about to lift me. I don't got no bra on. Okay. <sighs> Can this is ridiculous. This is. That's okay. I'm kind of upset because I shouldn't be in this much pain. Okay. Uh. It's the worst in the morning and at night, so. And I'm not trying to cry. Yep. We're gonna go ahead and get her to the restroom and we'll be back. Okay, so while she's using the restroom, I wanted to show you guys these wipes that we got from CVS. Again, this is the hotel edition. So we wanted to make sure that we had disinfectant wipes on hand. And I'm just going to disinfect everything. I do that multiple times during the day and just making sure that her area is as clean as possible. So these are really good. Okay, so this uh, first side is one of her wounds that she has, and you can see why we don't really like to use bandages because it sticks to her skin and it's very sensitive. <gasps> to get um this is why we use that tape <gasps> oh my gosh i feel like it's really bad under there oh my gosh oh ooh, no 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 we're gonna have to end that hey guys we just got finished taking off all of her bandages off of both of the wounds again she has one two three about four open active wounds and they're pretty deep and we just got finished taking the bandages off of it it was a very painful, painful process for her, so she's not really doing too well right now. So again, the main focus is making sure that she's comfortable. So now we're about to clean these um, wounds, rewrap them, get her um, any type of medicine that she may need right now because it was really, really painful for her. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and share it with you guys. Also, I guess I wanna also reiterate that this is behind the scenes. These are things that you guys do not see. Um, actively trying to take care of these wounds for her she is very much very much in pain and we're constantly having to uh, make sure that she's okay stop and take a break she's very swollen as well around her wounds that's why it's so important that we go to this appointment on monday we're also going to have to stop restop by the surgeon's office and make sure that um, she gets her cat scanned uh, scheduled because what's going on right now is that she's not getting enough oxygen flow to her foot so it's starting from her leg all the way up from her groin all the way down to her foot and the oxygen is not getting to her foot hence why her her wound is not healing the way that it should be healing what happens is we get it closed it gets scabbed up and then it reopens again so now we need a professional to really take care of this because we've been dealing with this since june in or before june it could have been before june actually she's been dealing with this for a while now so um let me go ahead and get her situated so she's back to being who she normally is thanks guys for coming along with us in this journey i was in so much pain y'all i had to get back into bed the crazy part about it is if bae and my mom weren't here to witness this it would look like a lie right bae mm -hmm. like now that Bay is really been in the process now, like, how do you feel about all of this? It's frustrating because you shouldn't have to have waited this long and it's just getting worse at this point. And they should have just took care of it immediately and, when you went. And the CT scan, guys, still haven't put it in. It's the 28th. And then Monday is the 30th. So after I see the wound care, we're going over there and making sure that they put in the appointment. If they don't, now I'll have document that I went, I act, we asked. And then when we go there, make sure we say, hey, we called uh, whatever that lady's name is. I'm not going to say it on here. You said that you would take care of it because you had to get off of work. It's also a little frustrating because we went to the emergency room literally 
the night before or the day before the treating physician at the emergency room said that there was a problem and that's why he sent a referral for her to go see the surgeon we go to the surgeon he's rushing took literally five minutes with us just touched her foot and said everything was fine and then it was not until we said you need to go look at all the documentation and all the history and then that's when he changed his his mind and what he said and that's when he said he needs to schedule this cat he was still running out the door not only that y'all this man did not wash his hands when he touched my foot what if he made it worse because he touched it and i don't know if you want if your hands are clean no gloves no nothing like ugh. i just want this to be over with y'all y'all i don't think y'all understand how miserable this thing this thing truly has been for me